My, my father was an army psychiatrist, so I grew up early on, you know, having exposure to the field of mental health and observing how he would, you know, work with his patients and round and take call and um, how he enjoyed it, helping people and helping others. There's outpatient care, which we were just talking about, where people can come and have a talk therapist or counselor or get some medication management and check in periodically. The next level up, what we call like a IOP or an intensive outpatient program. Folks will go to those programs usually two or three days a week, two or three hours a day, and do that for you know four or five weeks. Um, so that's another level of care. And then of course there's inpatient. And so depending on you know where the patient's at when they're reaching out for services, we'll let them know that those are the options. The initial intake is usually around an hour, um, which is nice. It's plenty of time to sort of get to know the patient. They get the sense of how. You know, I um, am working with them. We will cover the basics, so background information. We'll go through, you know, things, allergies, medications they might be taking, substance use, um, in addition to the obvious things, you know, current stressors, you know, work-life balance, uh, family history, um, those are all important. And then, um, you know, it, we'll, we'll discuss, we'll kind of together work on a treatment plan. The patients get well, and they do improve, and they get control back in their life. Um, and I really value the relationships over time. So I've worked with patients and families for years and you know, seen their kids growing up and um, it's, it's really, a, it's, it's something that I think a lot of people don't realize about mental health as a specialty in many ways. I mean, it is primary care and so we get to see people over the course of a lifetime here.